hello guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be sharing with you all how i made this oha soup oha soup is mostly eaten by the eastern people of nigeria the ebos so if you want to see how i made this soup keep on watching so these are the ingredients we will be using my oha leaf it has been in the fridge for a while my red palm oil locust beans also known as ogiri it is in the blended form here is my archi which i'll be using as a thickener because i don't have cocoa here is my chili pepper here is blended crayfish my salt some stock cube and also here is a little dry fish i deboned and soaked in water which i will be using also and here is the meat I'll be using. I'm already parboiling it. So now let's get started. So as you can see, my meat has been cooking for over one hour. So the next step, I'm going to add in the the boned dry fish to cook with it. So now I'll be adding in some crayfish, and also if you have your dried pepper or your chili pepper, like the one I'm using you can add it also and stir everything together next I'm going to add my stock cube I'm adding only one because I already parboiled the meat with some stock cube already and moreover I will be using okay I'm going to add in some salt to taste Next, I'll be adding in the red palm oil, maybe like two or three tablespoons, depends on the quantity you are making. As you can see, I always make very small quantity because I usually eat this soup all by myself. Now, stir together and cover to cook for at least five to seven minutes in order for the oil to cook with the meat. So this is it after boiling together for about 7 minutes. You can see how nicely the color came out. So now the next step is to add in the ogiri. You see I melted the ogiri with water, I mean the locust beans. Stir together. So now I'm going to add in my tikna, the ashi. Like I told you guys. I didn't have the opportunity to lay my hands on cocoa yam, so that is why I am using ashi. So I'm going to start putting the ashi bit by bit until it gets to the consistency I want. I don't want it too thick, nor too light. <laughs> Okay, I think I got the consistency I want, not too thick, nor too light. So the next step is I'm going to add in my oha leaves. This actually comes in at the last minute. Yes, because after putting the oha leaf, I'm just going to leave it to cook for another 5 to 7 minutes and our oha soup is ready. It is very, very easy and simple to make. So after adding the leaves, it has been cooking for about 7 to 10 minutes now and our oha soup is actually ready. Guys, as you can see, it is very very easy and this soup was so tasty. It is one of my favorite soup. It can be eaten with eba, pandu yam, semovita, amara, just whatever you feel like eating it with. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. I do hope you find this video helpful. Please, if you do, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you. Bye.